fish one. What is up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today we're doing some creek fishing. It is sunny and 85, that's pretty hot for West Virginia in October, but we're still gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna be using my PC Fun Viper 2 spinning reel. I have it on a six foot Quantum 24 performance series rod. It's a medium light one piece. And I'm gonna start out with this Helgramite, this soft plastic Helgramite by Nico Bates. And I have a little split shot right there above it to give it a little extra weight. But I have plenty of lures in my bag if this doesn't work, but we're gonna try this and then we can switch to something later. Hopefully we can catch some fish, stay tuned. All right guys, real quick before we get into the fishing action, I want to do a quick unboxing of the reel that I'm gonna be using today. This is the Viper 2 2000 by PC Fun. Got some specs there on the side of the box. Has some features right there listed. And that's pretty much all there is to the box. We're gonna open it up. Comes in a nice little plastic bag there to protect it. First impression, this reel feels pretty heavy. Feels very high quality. It's got PC Fun right there on the reel seat. The handle knob here is some dense foam and it has the PC Fun logo there engraved into the handle. The spool comes braid ready. I'm not sure what you call this, but it's rough right in here. Very smooth, love the colors, green and black. Looks pretty awesome. Nice clicky drag. Bail flips open nice and smooth. Also in the box, you get three extra washers and you get the spinning reel manual. Has all the parts and breakdown of the reel. Super excited to get this thing out there and catch some fish. Let's get to fishing. Oh. Fish one. Fish one. What is it? Oh, it's a smallie. Come here, buddy. Yes. Beautiful little smallie. On the helper mite. All right, buddy. We'll let you go. That's a good sign. I've been fishing less than five minutes. We've already got a smallie. That smallmouth was hanging out over there in that shade. I cast over there and uh, he hit it pretty much as soon as it hit the water. Sunny days like this, definitely make sure you target shady areas. The way I'm fishing this Helgramite right now, I'm casting it out, letting it sink down to the bottom, and then I'm just working it back in. I'm kind of raising my rod tip and dropping it, giving it a few little twitches, just trying to keep it like bouncing along the bottom real slow. This split shot works perfectly. It's not too much weight where it's getting hung up on the bottom, but it's enough to keep it down right on the bottom and I can hop it along. Fish one. Look at there, boys. Second smallmouth. Another pretty smallmouth. So light colored. Very light. All right, buddy. Number two. That's two smallmouth so far on the Helgramite. That last one I cast over there against that log. Just let it drift down. Along that side over there, it's a little deeper and there's some shade and of course structure. So perfect place for a small mouth. Sorry if my voice sounds muffled, I'm wearing a face shield because the mosquitoes are eating me alive. Looks like some good water right here. Oh, fish one. Fish one. Very next cast, ooh, decent small mouth. Best one of the day. Come here, buddy. Yes, that's a quality smallmouth right there. Best one of the day. A little chunky, look at that belly. Chunky little feller. Man, what a beautiful fish. All right, number three, biggest one of the day. See you, buddy. That was awesome, back-to-back -back casts. Two casts, two smallmouth. This old Helgramite is doing work. That last smallmouth, I cast dead center into the creek and I just let it drift down through there. He pretty much hit it as soon as it hit the water. But you can see there's some really nice current right here and there's a lot of shade and it gets deep right here.
for Sean. Definitely a small mouth. Yep. Another nice one. Beautiful fish. Number four. See you, buddy. This Helgramite is doing work. And these things are so tough. Let's see, I've caught four fish so far on this thing. Doesn't look a bit damaged. Still perfect. On that last smallmouth, I threw right behind that tree that's fallen into the water. I figured that that tree would hold some smallmouth because the tree provides structure and cover for the fish. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. Came down to the creek, did some fishing, was able to catch a few fish. I believe I caught four smallmouth bass total. All four fish were caught on the Nico Helgramite. I will leave that information down in the description so you guys can check that out if you want. Very good baits, very high quality, and very durable. You can catch a ton of fish on just one. Also, if you're interested in this reel that I was using today, I will leave that information down in the description. Worked very well, worked flawless, didn't have any issues with it. I really liked it and really enjoyed using it. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hulk out.